When was the last time you had alcohol? 23 years ago. Uh, Even longer. It was when I was 18, 17, 16, when I was younger. What about soda today? No. Soda is the worst thing. If the soda to me is like liquid crack. Uh, it don't do anything for the body. It's junk and it's part of the obese problem that we have in the country today, which is over 70 percent. So if you want to avoid diabetes and you're 13 to 12, you got to cut a lot of things out. And it's kind of hard when you've been passed on a tradition that your mother, your aunt, and, and your guardian didn't, 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 you know, didn't tell you uh, what this thing can do. But sodas is horrible. I don't drink club soda. I don't drink anything that, that well, Perrier would. I mean, that has a little fizz and carbon in it. But when it comes to any soda, I, don't, I stay away from it. It's bad for you. It's, just, it's, 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 it's a drug itself. What do the eating habits entail? Um, I, I'm more or less like a whole foods guy. I'm more or less like an organic guy. I do eat red meat. I don't eat it a lot. Um, I, 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 and uh, is it only buffalo and buffalo, something else I eat when you eat red meat? meat? Yeah, but I eat buffalo. I eat lamb. But a lot of stuff that I eat is more like fish, chicken, uh, a lot of soy burgers and, and turkey burgers and ground turkey. A lot of stuff I get, I get from farmer's market. I love shopping at the Amish people down at the Radiant Terminal. It's, it's, it's a big, big two-block radiant of, of, of flea market of all kinds of fresh stuff like that. But, you know, my fun stuff, you know, every now and then uh, I get the low-fat cheesecake, if you believe it or not, they do make it. And um, that's my treat. After the fight, I'm sitting there with Dan Raphael. You know who that is. And we sitting there, and I'm eating the cheesecake. He basically went crazy, took a picture of it, put it on his Twitter. He got 1,800 hits. I thought you only had, like, three bites of yeah, the cheesecake. Yeah, I only had though. three bites. But that just for people knowing that I had three bites of cheesecake, he got 1,800 hits. You understand? So, so but the, the thing is, is this. You can have fun. But... My type of fun is success of what, 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 I have, what I've accomplished and where I, what I came from, what I overcame, basically is what I'm trying to say, is that my glass of wine is every day. It's just not red or white. And so I tell people they think I ain't having fun. I am. I'm just not having the fun that you like to have fun. What was the last time you had fast food? Oh, man. I don't, my, my fast food is, is, is pro probably a joke to most people that eat cheese steak and stuff. My fast food is um, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Quick. That's the quickest sandwich you can, we call it a poor man's meal. You grab it, you pick the peanut butter, you pick the, pe uh, the, the jelly, you eat it, and you say, okay, I gotta get out of here, because you're on a run. It's a run sandwich. And it's a sandwich then that if, um, you know, if you're used to eating it, you don't need water. You know, and you know, the more peanut butter, the better the sandwich. You don't have to have a lot of jelly. Just some more peanut butter is, 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 is the bright sandwich to have. It's a steak and, steak and eggs. Yeah, you tell yourself that's what it is. It's a steak and eggs. And it'll hold you. You know, peanut butter, I mean, it's, it sticks to your ribs, man. It's a, it's a choke sandwiches, we used to call them. What's the workout schedule like when you're training for about and then when you're out of training? Well, when I'm out of training, it's a health spa type of thing I do. And I mean health spa, I, I, I get steam, I, I swim, I get on elliptical. I do things to keep the motor running. Um, I like to sweat. I like to keep my body fit. I think as we speak right now, not knowing what next week, next year, next month, hoping it's good. I'm ahead of the game. And so the training lifestyle and what I do, it all was an investment to go back to that bank, which is me, just like in business, to get the entrance of what I put in, which is the principle. You're seeing the entrance that the 20s and the 30s, when everybody won and they drank champagne and they're having fun, and I'm not saying they're bad people, have fun. 
but I learned how to keep the candle lit on one wit, not two. Because the one on one wit is the life candle that's going to burn whether I like it or not, including you. So I realized that I'm already in the hurt blood business. That's wear and tear. Life itself, no matter how much you take care of yourself, you ain't doing it but buying time. So when I give myself the better opportunity to stay around longer in life, it just happened to, happen to spill into what I do as an athlete, as I, my occupation is boxing. So to me, it, it, you know, I ain't stumble over it, but it, it just worked hand in hand. And that's what the, the, the training and the lifestyle and the eating and all that. And, 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 and I don't miss a day, man. I don't with people, they, you know, I got friends that think of me like I'm crazy. So I'm like, hey, man, have, have some ice cream or, or let's do this or have that. Hey, man, I don't eat Philly cheesesteaks. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I just have this mindset that it ain't good for me.